Hello, my name is Timothy Kimbrough, Dean and Rector of Christ Church Cathedral, Nashville, Tennessee. And I welcome you to a series of video installments introducing our Every Member Canvas campaign for this coming fall. We've chosen as a grounding principle for this year's campaign, a sentence from the Eucharistic liturgy, the liturgy we say every Sunday. There in that moment, just before the alms basins are passed, the celebrant calls out to the congregation from one of several sentences of scripture. Some are more obviously connected with the call to give, but this one, walk in love as Christ loved us, which comes from the book of Ephesians, chapter five, verse two, is more, well, subtle, and at the same time subversive in its call to Christian giving. It asks that we imitate Christ by walking in love, and more specifically, anticipate the sacrifice that he gave for us. There's no way in hearing this sentence said that we can give simply to keep the lights on, or give simply to, to raise a budget. We recognize when we hear this walk in love as Christ loved us, that we are to give because God has given us all that we have, all that we are. We love because he loved us first. The temptation for the church, anytime the church calls to its parishioners to give, is to set a goal, is to have some sort of institutional need that needs to be met, announced, and become the motivating principle for giving. But here in this campaign, we, we seek to have as the motivating principle our love for God. You give because God loves you and you wish to show him in that giving your love for him. You will over the next several months see witnesses, video vignettes from the congregation, individuals who've come and offered a testimony about what it means for them to walk in love as Christ loves them. I encourage you to tune in in the weeks and months to come and see each new vignette as, as it's presented. See how we collectively, as Christ Church, in turning our hearts to God, will give from the abundance of what he's given us. And in doing so, we'll walk in love as Christ, God's Son, has loved us.